Ava, Terrence called me and told me that you took Chantel to see a doctor. Wow, did Terrence happen to tell you where he really was that week he was gone, Mom? Terrence is the head of his household, Ava. He does not have to share his whereabouts with you. Now, what is your problem? My husband doesn't love me anymore, and he's possibly cheating on me with another woman. <sighs> Ava, men cheat. Let him have his fun and stop worrying about what he might be doing and start worrying about how you're going to keep a man who makes over $200,000 a year. Oh my God, Mom. Get it together. Are you giving it to him when he wants it? He doesn't want it. Well, it's your fault. You're so damn stiff. Listen up and make him feel like he can have his way with you. Mom, I don't think I can do this anymore. Oh, shut up. Just shut up. What are you going to do? Hmm? You signed a prenup and you have four children. You leave him? Who is going to take care of us? Take care of us? Yes, us. If you leave Terrence, who is going to pay for us to live comfortably? I drive a Jaguar. You are not going to take that from me. Okay, mom, I am your daughter and I am not happy. <sighs> you silly girl, have I taught you nothing? A woman's happiness doesn't matter if her man is not happy. In order for you to be happy, Terrence needs to be happy. A man's happiness comes before a woman's happiness. God, you sound delusional. Is this how you managed to keep daddy around? I gave your father everything under the sun. And it still was not enough. So, I allowed him to step outside of me to fulfill himself so that you, your brothers and sisters, could have a good life. And I could still be his wife. That is no way to live, Mom. Oh, God, Ava, stop. This is a man's world, and we just live in it. So stop complaining and let Terrence do what he wants to do. Learn how to compromise. I have to compromise. Oh, I knew I heard a familiar voice in the house. Alicia, how's the new house? Terrence, my dear son-in-law. We love it. It's absolutely amazing. Have you had something to eat this morning? Oh, no, I haven't. Um, Ava only cooks for the kids. She doesn't cook for me. Ava. Your husband is hungry, and you fed the kids before him? If he doesn't eat, the kids do not eat. You are out of your damn mind if you think I'm going to let my children starve so that my husband can eat first. Oh, Alicia, don't worry about it. I'm not hungry for anything that Ava has to cook. I'll grab something on my way to work. I thought you were off today, Terrence. I was, but then I decided I don't have a reason to stay home, so I'm going to work. You could spend time with me and the kids. My kids and I will be going to Top Golf tonight. You're more than welcome to attend. It doesn't sound like you were planning to invite me, so I'll pass. Oh, even better. Oh, bye, Terrence. Have a good day at work. Ava, get your shit together. He is losing interest in you. You gotta do something to spark up the relationship. Have you ever thought about getting a boob job? Mom, I am not changing the way I look just so he can be interested in me again. Make him want you, damn it. I will not be going back to live in middle class and flying coach because my daughter doesn't know how to keep her man. So get your shit together. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with you girls. What is wrong, my grandson? I don't know. How? Oh. He's just high. Christian has been smoking weed. Okay, Christian, start cutting that shit out. It's not healthy. As for Chantel, are you in competition with your daughter now? Hmm? Are you in competition with her? You need to cut their relationship off. You need... You need to make them turn against each other. You're his wife, okay? He needs to be paying attention to you. He needs to be pampering you, not his daughter. So get that shit under control. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with you, girl. Christian, go drink some water.
Curry, who is this? Brian, none of your business. Then I'll make it mama's business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did it say? She said she ain't going nowhere. Curry, if you don't get rid of it, our mother will kill it. No. You want Savannah to get to introduce the people to mama? I want to do it too. Mama don't even take you seriously. What makes you think she's going to take her seriously? It don't matter. Get out of my face before I show mama your Tinder account. Mm -hmm. I'm 18 and grown. All that snitch and shit you like to do, it doesn't faze me because I can do what I want. She's not speaking fucking English. So is she challenged? You know, mentally? I'm not gay ass. She said no, she's not gay ass. I'll be right back. Mama, just the person I wanted to see. I want you to meet my girl, Gonorisha. What's her name? Gonorisha. You know, like gonorrhea. Spit that gum out. Curry, what did I tell you about bringing strangers in my home? I'm not sure, I'm here, girl. Curry, get this mush mouth ass bitch out of my house right now. Oh, uh, Curry, you're my room. As fuck and disrespectful and violent. What you gonna do? Translate. She said, what you gonna do? I'm going to grab you by your face, break your jaw, open your mouth wide, and remove the gum myself. Ma, I really like this girl. And you be letting Brian and Savon date whoever they want to date, and then you be letting them in the house. Son, you know how I know you're not ready to date yet? You are currently dating a girl named Gonorisha. That tells me that you do not value yourself. I just did, you little bitch. Kyrie, I have a headache. I had an interesting day at work, and I come home to my son, who has a tongue-tied-ass bitch in my kitchen. And I'm still calm. Believe it or not, I'm still calm. I don't stay calm. I'm going to keep the volume noise down in my house because I like it quiet nowadays. So remove her right now before my purse... You need your job. Hey Kyrie, I understand you don't like to clean up after yourself, but we share a shower and it's dirty. So go clean it. Why the fuck are you on my face talking about a shower you can go clean yourself? Because I'm not the only one who uses it. But you're the only one complaining about it. Because I don't want to step in a shower where there's a brown ring around it, you dirty ass little boy. That's your shitty booty ass leaking after you done got turned every which way but loose by your man. Check it out. I'm not going to keep arguing with you over being clean. Get your ass up and go clean that shower. Make me get up, Brian. Make me get up and go clean that shower.
I ain't gonna touch you, Kyrie. Because you know I ain't nothing to fucking play with. Now go find you something safe to do. Do I need to go get mama? Do you feel threatened? Is your life in danger? Do you feel like you need your mommy? How do you think it's okay to not clean up after yourself? Brian, have you ever considered that you might be the dirty one, not me? I clean up after myself every time. Start cleaning the booty juice. The booty juice that you leave in the shower. Ma, I am having a hard time getting Kyrie to clean up after himself. Ma, Brian is having a hard time cleaning his booty in the shower. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. That bathroom better be clean by the end of the day, and I don't care who does it. What I need to know right now, though, is why does my garage smell like weed? Mine wasn't me. You can drug test me. You can drug test me too. Okay. So if it wasn't you too, then it was somebody y'all brought in my house. Miles. What? Kyrie. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll keep the bathroom clean. It, it was my fault. We can drop this. No, hell no. We ain't dropping shit. Who the fuck is Miles, Kyrie? I was just wondering how many miles your car has on it. Y'all think I'm stupid? Y'all think I'm dumb? Y'all think I'm clueless? Yeah? Like I ain't been raising y'all for the last 18 years? Like I don't know every trick in the motherfucking book? Because I know what you said. I don't know who the fuck Miles is. But y'all better find out who the fuck been smoking in my garage. We wasn't smoking, mama. Then find out who it was. Or I'm playing Candy Crush on both y'all's asses. Ma, y'all parents be saying the freakiest stuff. The blood of Jesus! The blood of Jesus! The blood of Jesus! The blood of Jesus! Aunt Jesus. can you stop? You're scaring the boys. Demon. 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 Please do not call my son a demon. Was he ever baptized, Tamika? Did you drown him in holy waters? Kyrie has been baptized. I remember. I remember. I remember because the water turned black. The water turned black and I told the preacher, drown him! Drown him, Satan! Drown him, let him loose! Let him loose! Rebellio. Ah! 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 What language is that, Satan? It's from the book of Harry Potter. Cut his tongue out, Tamika. Aunt Tallulah, thank you for your visit. Um, I'm sure my mama will be real happy to see you. Mm, no, I, I did not come for that she demon. I came hoping and praying that Lord and Savior Jehovah Jireh Nisi will provide me a place to stay. No, I, I do hope you find that place. I have found it, amen. I have found it. It is here. Here where? Right here in your home, my dear niece. Let him use you. Oh, hey. Auntie, you cannot stay here. Hi. No whipping for and against me shall prosper. Hey, it's me, the weapon, and I am prospering. What happened to your house? Oh, the devil evicted me. He evicted me out of my own home, Jesus. But my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, led me here to you. That is a blessing. Amen. Well, I'm going to lead you to a homeless shelter. Big tight vagina. I mean, to, oh, shit. Jehovah Jireh. A homeless shelter, Tamika. Really? Expect over drama. You be quiet, demon. Your serpent tongue is no match for my holy click. Oh, my God. Aunt Tallulah, please. I mean, my, my holy tongue. Ooh. See, Jesus, this demon has influenced my mind. Jesus, forgive me. I need you. Expelliarmus. Aunt Tallulah, cut this bullshit out. Before I call my mama and tell her to come get you. And I believe you owe her some money. <clears throat> oh, the devil thought he had me for a second, but I am strong, Jesus. You had me for a second, demon. What room will I be sleeping in, Tamika? A homeless shelter. Are you going against God's plans right now? You know what? I'm not. I'm not. He he touched me. Bless her.
And he touched me. Bless the Lord. Use him. Use him right now. Use the Lord. I'm not going to put you in a homeless shelter, Auntie. No. No. I, I, I am going to put you in an abundance of a hotel for a couple of nights until you can figure out what the fuck you're going to do with your life because you cannot stay here. No, God. No, God. Oblivion. Oh, I rebuke it, demon. My name is Voldemort. God Almighty, to me, because this is blasphemous. This child should have never been born. Get out of my house or until a little before I beat your ass. Ooh. Ooh. I'm getting a sign. He talking to me. He talking to me. The Lord's talking. Oh. Oh. He asked me, the Lord has asked me to ask you. Where your brothers and sisters live at, because surely one of them will take me in. Huh. Pick one. I'll send you right their way. Mama, Savon, please, it's Sunday. It is, and I've been spending the last three days trying to figure out why I didn't get my full paycheck. Because you just started working, stupid. Shut up, ho. I worked 40 hours for the last two weeks. That equals 160 hours, so I should have got $160 on my paycheck. Savon, what's 40 plus 40? 80. Thank you, Jesus. Good job, dumbass. What's 80 plus 80? 160, Hope. Outstanding. There might be hope for you after all, high school dropout. So, if you worked 40 hours for the last two weeks, then how many hours have you worked total? Uh-oh, did I lose you? Just a few more questions and you can stop trying to use your brain. Let me see the check, Savon. All right. Okay, so there's taxes. Right. There's insurance. Mm -hmm. And then there's child support. No, what? Child support? Hell no. Fuck no. Mama, Versace left me with $100. I can't live like that. Savon, I don't know what to tell you. You owe her back child support. I don't care about none of that shit. Then neither do I. You're a grown ass man. Go and get a second job. Hmm. That's all right. I know what I'm going to do. And can't nobody take shit from that paycheck. Okay, go ahead. And let me find out you selling drugs. I better not see a fucking dope fiend, crackhead, cokehead, or airhead approach my house. Alright. Now, I do want to introduce y'all to my new man, Terrence. Is he gay? No. He's divorced from a woman. With four kids of his own, and he's a lawyer. Mama, you don't really have the best taste in men. Greg. Poor, broke, cheated on you with your own mother and is currently incarcerated. Our dad. Cheated on you with a white woman who had three of his children, then turned around and slept with your son, and he is still married to her. Travis. Undercover brother. Confused about his sexuality. Tried to get with your own son, but not once did I oblige. That is yet to be determined. So are the DNA results for Karen's baby. Enough! Okay? Terrence is not like that. He is a family man, and like myself, he's just ready to get back out there and start dating. And he just pulled up, so don't embarrass me. Terrence, these are my sons, Savon, Brian, and Kyrie. <laughs> Let me just say that I have three boys, and I know how overprotective they are over their mother, so I get it. When did you meet my mama? Where did you meet my mama? Why did you meet my mama? Mm, scratch that. Is the divorce finalized? Or are y'all just separated? Do you still be messing around with your ex-wife? Yes. My divorce is finalized, and I don't speak to my ex-wife. Unless it's about the kids. Mm -mm. Savon. Why did y'all get a divorce? Did you cheat on her? Did she find out you were gay? Carrie! How about I get to know y'all? Savon, I heard you needed a lawyer for your child support case. Come see me. I'll get you squared away. Oh, well, shit. You are right with me, Terrence. What are your kids' names? Drew, Christian, Chantel, and Ethan. Hmm, I don't know them, and I know every kid in this town. What school do they go to? <laughs> I'm sorry, Terrence, that they're asking for too much information. That's enough, okay? Me and Terrence are about to go out. We'll be back. So, Terrence, when does my mom get to meet your kids? Uh, soon. What is soon? She didn't waste no time introducing you to us. 
I'll set it up so that all of y'all can meet them. You ready, baby? I'll grab my coat. I know a Christian in Chantel. I just don't remember where I've seen them. They're twins. But I don't know where I've seen them. But I'm going to figure it out. Everybody want to know what Tamika's skincare routine is. Well, first of all, why are y'all in my business anyway like I wasn't born with flawless skin? Just kidding. The secret is Lambena, and I use the nose plants pore strips. First, I clean my face prior to using the product, and I don't know why I didn't pull my hair back, because what is happening right now? Face is now cleaned, and we are ready to use Lambena. Boom. So first, I'm going to apply the product around my nose using the mask brush. Oh, what the heck? Now that that is complete, I will take a nose mask strip paper and place it on my nose while also applying it to other areas that the product was used on. And now we wait for eight Ryan, minutes. Eight. Hold on, y'all. Can you stop? That is so annoying. You seem very upset. I'm upset. Look what you're doing right now. Look what you're doing right now. All right, after eight minutes, we can now remove the mask strips. All right, now let's wash this off my face. Boom, after applying the Lambena Pore Minimizing Essence, I now have a new face. Check the before and after. <laughs> Notable difference. Who she thinks she is? <laughs> Hurry, ain't you grounded? Mind your motherfucking business, ho. Mama! Bring me that PS5! Y'all don't get tired of fucking each other up. Ma, he hit me first. That's not even why we were fighting. If I have to go get it, I'm going to sell it to a child that deserves it. Now go, remove it from the electricity in my walls, and bring it to me oh, right now. That don't even make no sense. No, you know what don't make yeah. no damn sense? You'll be grounded and playing your damn game. What sense does that make? You're grounded. Okay, like you're grounded. Like, what are you doing? Ma, I need a favor. Give the spare key to my house back because you ain't going to be walking in here like you live here. Ma, please. Kenya and her mom are outside and her mom wants to meet you. Savon, why does your shit keep spinning the block? 
I'm over here minding my business stress-free, and here you come with some more of your bullshit. Come on, Mom. Put all that to the side for a minute. Please, listen. Her mom doesn't know anything about my life, okay? All she knows is that I'm with Kenya and that I come from a very rich and successful family. You do me this favor and I will leave you alone forever. No, you should have been did that. And what the fuck are you expecting me to do when she walk up in here? Say hi. It's simple. Just act like you're a good mother. Boy, I'll slap the dog shit out of you. Mm, this is a very nice home. Do you own it? Oh, you're Kenya's mom. Huh. I was wondering who chose not to swallow her. I'm Savan's mom. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you. You have raised a very respectful and responsible young man. Oh, is that what you think he is? So about the wedding bill, how are we splitting it? I'm sorry, what bill? Oh, I'm sorry. Savon mentioned that you would split the amount with me and my husband. He did. And, and just how much is this wedding? Oh, it's only 25000 25000 Surely you can afford. Yes, Tamika. Surely you can afford it. Oh, my dear God. Forgive me for assuming that you had that type of money. I am so sorry. Um, don't worry about it. Me and my husband will take care of it. No. I got it. 25K? That's chump change for me. Tanika, whose BMW was that outside, girl? What happened to the Nissan? Someone in this home owns a Nissan? What's wrong with a Nissan, Katrina? Oh, nothing, nothing. You just didn't strike me as a woman who was on a budget. Oh, well, I'm a bougie bitch on a budget. And my Nissan Maxima with the peanut butter guts wasn't cheap. Hey, Versace, not now. Can you leave? Oh my God. You're a broke, unemployed baby daddy. How dare you speak to me? If I may ask, who are you to him? Mom, she's just a family friend who is obsessed with Savon so much, she thinks her kid is his. Bitch, what? And you both entertain this little girl? What the fuck do you mean entertain, bitch? I'm the mother of his child. I can go and come as I please. Oh my God. Savan, I am mortified. Kenya, explain. I am so confused right now. I can't explain it, mom. She is literally delusional. They haven't even had a DNA test yet. And Savan told me that the baby might even be his homeboy Rashad's baby. <gasps> Really, Savan? That's the picture you want to paint of her? Okay, Savan. I have been sparing you for Tamika and because I no longer want to be the petty baby mama. But today, she's been activated. So, I'm going to fuck your whole world up, starting with your finances. You both be blessed, and I'll see you in court. Oh, Katrina, you look so shocked. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, but my son is a bum who dropped out of high school and has two kids. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's a deadbeat. But he's my son, and I love him. And he has the potential to be great. He just chooses not to. Well, it does start at home. Katrina, your daughter left your grandchild in the car with the dog. Are you talking about my husband's service dog? It's a service dog. It was okay. You're right. It does start at home. I pray that baby makes it to one years old. Kenya, let's go. I'm definitely not paying for a wedding for you and this imposter. Uh, me neither. Kenya, you can do so much better, girl. Savon is not the one. I want an apology. You ain't getting shit. Apology for what? Tamika, I am your mother. Yes, you are. What do you want? You want to be friends? You want to comb each other's hair? You want to you want me to be nice to you? You laid down and had six kids. It gave you a title. It does not mean anything. Okay, that's cute. You brought me over here because you thought that you and Savannah was going to check me about the deal I made with Marisol, but I was going to drain her pockets, and then I was going to tell you when I was done with her. Oh, you are so full of it. You wasn't going to tell me shit, mama. Grandma, then you paid my baby mama to go along with it. And that little bitch owed me $5,000. Owed? 
is in past tense. So she paid you back? I took another form of payment from her. Anyway, Savan, have you talked to her? I got this weird call from her mom this morning. I haven't talked to her in a week. I called her the other day, but she didn't answer the phone. What did her mama say? Hmm. She dropped the baby off a week ago and has not been back to pick him up, and she's not answering the phone. I don't suppose you've seen her? Who, me? Oh, no. But I did hear that there was a drive-by shooting in her neighborhood last week. One casualty. What? Grandma, why didn't you tell us? I was too busy trying to hide from y'all because y'all thought y'all was finna corner me and shit. Mom. 19-year-old girl was shot in her driveway and taken to the hospital in critical condition. Critical condition? What you mean? So she ain't dead? <sighs> Mom, we gotta go. Okay, let me grab my keys. No! <sighs> Mama, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm having a heart attack! <laughs> Mama, I'm about to dip. I'll keep you posted. Savar, no. That girl is in critical condition. I might be dying and you might not see me again. That's my son's mother, Grandma. I hope you feel better, though. You ain't gonna go follow him? He said he'll keep me updated. How are those chest pains? Okay, look, I'm gonna just tell you what happened. After you had busted Maricel, she called me and said that she was gonna pop Versace and then pop me if I didn't go with her to watch. She mentioned that her granddaddy was, you know, the lord of the Mexican drug cartel, whatever, and I just, I got scared. So, I felt like she was going to kill me if I didn't go with her. So if Versace says she saw me there, it's because I was forced into the car to go and watch them pop her. Mama, I've known you my whole life. I have watched you take out two of my daddy's wives because you're a real hood bitch, right? So you mean to tell me that you are sitting here today saying that somebody forced you into a car? to go pull up on somebody and you ain't pulled a trigger. Somebody else did. Oh my God, I was hoping I was right. I don't know what to do about mama. What do you mean? She shot this girl. The girl is still very much alive and breathing, Tamika. Let it go. When you say you don't know what to do about mama, what do you mean? Because there's really nothing you can do. Are you thinking about calling the cops on mama? Versace does want to press charges. And you're going to let her? Mama almost killed that girl. The mother of my grandson. Savan is very upset. Wow. Mama has done how many drive-by shootings while we were growing up? And some of them we were in the car for. Did you call the cops then? Honestly, Tamika, I'm shocked that you're even contemplating calling the cops on our mother. I didn't say I was calling the cops. I'm asking my dumbass younger sisters for advice. But clearly neither one of you bitches can comprehend that. But Tamika, there better be a good reason I missed my golf session for this. Yeah, my girl outside waiting for me. What's up? And how old is this girl, Tommy? Is she legal? She's well over age, Tara. Are we talking early teens, mid-teens, late teens, under 18? Tara, why are you focused on me? Ain't Tarika pregnant and don't know who her baby daddy is? You're about to be a grandmother? 
Tell Tommy and Terry why they are here. Mama tried to kill my grandson's mother. <laughs> That's why you called me here? Because of Mama? Sis, Mama has tried to kill a few people while we were growing up, and she even succeeded a few times. Ain't hey, shit new. Thank you. Mama's behavior has gotten out of control. She knew that Carmen's baby was not Savon's, and all it took was 80K for her to go along with it. <sighs> Mama has done some fucked up shit to all of us, Tamika. That's Mama. She tried to run my wife over with the car a few years ago. Did you forget that? Mika, the girl is still alive. Why are you acting so surprised right now? You know, once you cross Mama, ain't no going back. But this girl is still alive, and I'm sure she has learned her lesson. So, just keep Mama away from her, okay? All right, are we done here? Because I gotta go. To your next dick appointment. It's good to see you in the flesh, Tanya. It's been a minute. Terry, my big brother, I haven't seen you in so long. How are the kids? No, scratch that. How's your wife's weight loss journey? Are you still having trouble hiding the honey buns from her fat ass? Oh, she's great. Thanks for asking. I heard you stopped sleeping with these old men, and now you're sleeping with inmates at the local prison. <laughs> Is that what you heard? Yeah, I heard you go down there every Wednesday as a volunteer, and about four or five of them take turns stretching you out. Terry, enough. No, let him finish. And Tommy, you don't know what my daughter has going on. I'm out of town, thugging with my rounds. I know I ain't her baby daddy. I know that. Didn't she sleep with Kyrie? No, she didn't. And you're a predator, Tommy. Oh, your ex-husband likes little boys. Let's not point the finger. Oh, Corey finally came out the closet. Speaking of closets, Terry, is that where you hide all the snacks from your wife? How's her diabetes? How's your HIV and hepatitis? Damn, damn, damn! Have you been taking your meds? <laughs> I hope that you fuck up one day and forget to give your wife her insulin shots and that bitch goes and sneaks a whole pack of Oreos on your ass. Tell me, tell me something. Are you still hanging out at that high school after school watching the cheerleaders practice? My youngest daughter, your niece, said that last week she saw Uncle Tommy in the bleachers watching them practice. Tara, your ex-husband is the basketball coach at that high school. Did you say anything when you found out that he was having private lessons with those young men and your garage? Oh, shut up. You know what? You yeah, have no like proof of that. that. You, you are just mad because you are the Tanya. only one in no, here no, no, that no, literally no, is messing with minors. You are just like us. Not that I give a fuck, but what's wrong with you? Leave me the fuck alone. Oh, I can't. I won't. And now I gotta bother you. Kyrie, I'm in the mood to beat somebody's ass. Oh, that's great because I'm in the mood to watch you try. And when I knock your ass out, don't tell mama. Okay, come on. Let me see what you got. Kyrie, I am not in the mood. But you said you were in the mood and now all of a sudden you're not in the mood. But that's beside the point because I'm in the mood to see you try and beat somebody's ass. Was good. Me and Trenton just broke up. Oh, damn. Oh, so you'll tell Savon what's going on, but you don't want to tell me what's going on? Kyrie, if you have not noticed by now, I do not like you. You also can't whoop my ass. Kyrie, relax. Oh, so you ain't going to try Savon, but you'll try me? Well, see, all I got to do is ask Savon one time to come whoop my ass, and he going to do that. You, on the other hand, have yet to put your hands on me. All you've done this whole time is talk, which lets me know that you are a bitch. I fought you a couple times. You fight like a bitch. I ain't scared of you. Get up, Kyrie. Get up, because all you do is fucking Brian, 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 Somebody explain to me why y'all are fighting in my kitchen.
Mama, he, he just attacked me out of nowhere. Mama, Kyrie keeps annoying me. So ignore him. Mama, how about you simply tell him to stop annoying us and he wouldn't get beat up? Look at his face. Uh, Brian, you didn't even connect. You can't fight. I don't want to hear that shit. I have talked to y'all about putting y'all hands on each other. I don't like it. Why the hell is it happening to my damn kitchen? Ma, me and Trenton just broke up. I'm in my feelings right now. And I was in here minding my business. And Kyrie just came in here and made it worse. So forgive me if I put my hands on your precious gift from God because he or you can't control his mouth. Learn how to control yours before I bust it open. Okay. Okay. Now I'm not a relationship expert, but relationships end. You move on and another one begins. Brian, you are headed into your senior year in high school. Something Savon failed to do. Mom, I ain't got nothing to do with this. I would not have my second born making the same mistake. Now, you will experience more relationships in life. You are young. But unfortunately, this one was not it. Now apologize to your brother. I'm sorry that your mouth got you beat up and I'll do it again. Mama, mama, that wasn't no apology. Mama, he didn't apologize. Mama, he didn't apologize. Shut up, boy. Okay, so I brought y'all here so y'all can work out y'all's differences. Tamika, are you fucking crazy? This old, crusty, stiff wig wearing bitch. Stop, me. bitch, I'll hit you with this motherfucking bottle. Stiff wear. Stiff wear. This hair came from my natural scalp. That synthetic blend was sewed into yours. There is no working out our differences. Your ass is going to jail. You're pressing charges? Hell yes, I'm pressing charges. Versace. Shut up, Savon. Because if it was any of your other little bitches that got shot, you wouldn't be saying anything. You didn't even come see me in the hospital. I did come see you. While I was unconscious, you didn't even wait for me to wake up. You left. Versace, how can I make this right? Tamika, your mother tried to kill me. Would you still be trying to make it right if she succeeded? Would you recommend we work on our differences at my funeral too? Make it make sense. <laughs> Timmy, are you going to let this girl put me in jail? Or are you going to handle it like I taught you to? Hell nah, mama. What you thinking about right now? How would you like to get married in Paris? <gasps> to Savon? To Savon. To Savon? Make him propose to me right now. A genuine proposal. Get on your knees, boy. Man, come on, mama. Hell no. Ugh, Savon, propose to this desperate little bitch so grandma can go home. Or do you want to see me in somebody's under jail? 
I'm not marrying you. Well, then I'm on my way to the police station. What you want to do? Savon. Mama, no. I didn't do anything wrong in this situation. Why am I being punished? Grandma. Boy, I'm too old and pretty to be in jail. That ain't nothing personal. No, it is personal. And he's right. You did that shit to us growing up. I'm not about to let you do it to my child, too. Why should he suffer for some shit that you did? Ugh, I'm getting tired of you taking your mommy issues out on me. Go see a fucking therapist already. Ugh, all this sentimental bullshit. It's pathetic and all, but none of y'all asses got shot. I did. So y'all need to be trying to figure out a way to make me happy before I march my pretty ass down to the police station. Oh, shut up. This is how this is gonna go. I'm not marrying you, but me and you can try to work on being in a serious relationship. That's all I'm willing to give. And in exchange, you forgive my grandma. Pathetic. So does that mean you get to move in with me? Oh, you starting already. Mama, I need a drink. Oh, me too. I'm sorry you got shot. I know you were not still tripping over Trent and Savannah. I fucked up. I slept with this girl two weeks ago thinking that it would make me get over Trenton. You actually slept with a girl? Congratulations. You are no longer a virgin, my boy. I did not use a condom. <gasps> Brian. Oh, mama is going to flip. Brian, your mama said she went that homework done before you go to bed. Travis, my mama did not say that weak ass shit. You just wanted a reason to come over here and threaten me. Right now, you're giving me a reason to ground your smart mouth having ass. On what grounds do you think you can confine me to my room? Oh, well, let's see. I, I pay the mortgage in this house. I'm taking care of everybody in this house. So, yeah, I can ground your little ass. Okay, you sprinkle change around the house. Big deal. It does not give you the power to open your mouth and speak to me. <laughs> Brian, do I look like the type of stepdad that's going to go back and forth with the stepson? No, I'm gonna just call your mama. My homework will be done before I go to bed, Travis. 10-4, that's a good copy. Savon? Travis? Now, I know you ain't got no job and shit, and you know, you, you, you working living off your mama and shit. So I took it upon myself to get you a couple interviews lined up at uh, 7-Eleven, Sefco, and Chevron. Are those gas stations? No, they're restaurants, dumbass. What do I look like working at a gas station? Oh, I don't know. A man with the job? I'm not working at no gas station. Then I'll get your mama to kick your big grown ass out the house. That's one less mouth I gotta feed. My mama ain't gonna kick me out. Oh, but just the right amount of dick, and I can get your mama to kick all three of y'all out. Keep playing with me. Yo, Travis, is there a reason you didn't come pick me up from school today? Curry, don't nobody got to pick you up from school, boy. You ain't no damn kid. You're a teenager capable of taking the bus and walking. Okay, bitch, and wait till my mama found out I had to walk home. And she's going to ask you why you didn't take the bus, stupid. I'm done with this conversation. The last stray dog my mama brought up in here, me and my brother sent his ass back to the pound. You'll be next. Travis, all you have to offer my mama is back shots and money. <laughs> and all y'all have to offer y'all mama is a headache, a stroke, and some damn grandkids. 
I wonder which one of us she'll get rid of first. My mama ain't choosing no man over her kids, Travis. So let's talk about the type of kids that Tamika Jackson has. Her oldest is a bum with a kid that she takes care of. Her middle child is gay and that alone is a bit much. And her youngest child is the most disrespectful child on the planet. All three of y'all should have been swallowed. Wow. I can't wait to tell my mom the shit she said to us. And I can't wait to lay her down and make her forget. Now finish that homework, little motherfucker, before I send your ass to a gay conversion camp. Yo, Travis, don't get too comfortable in this house. You've only been here a month. Savon, I'm so comfortable. I ate y'all snacks in the pantry. I'm so comfortable. I'm going to talk to y'all mama about claiming all three of y'all on my taxes. You can't claim me. I'm 19. With no pot to piss in. Savon, you can't even claim yourself. Shut up. Who's next? I hate you. I hate you too. All three of y'all, as a matter of fact. Kyrie, if you got any homework, I suggest you start doing it now. I ain't doing shit, Kyrie. I will break your PS5. Do I look like a back and forth stepdaddy to you? Shut up! Savon, you will show up to these little interviews or you will no longer live here. Travis, I will beat your ass. I tell you what. I'm going to rip all the TVs in this house off the wall and break them if you say any other word besides yes, sir. Oh, there goes my queen right there. Hey, baby. Oh, no, no, no. I'm chilling. They good. They just sitting here getting on my nerves and shit. I got Brian and Kyrie doing their homework and Savon about to look for some jobs so he can get the fuck out. Give me good life. He give me good dick. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? Janice, he is cheating on you. He give me good life. He give me good dick. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? So you're the only one around here who can have a man? This ain't got nothing to do with my man. He give you good life? He give you good dick? Why would you leave? Why would you leave? Mama, Travis gotta go. Mama, that man didn't pick me up from school all week. I had to walk home. So why didn't you take the bus? That man did say you would say that. Mama, he called me a bum. Hmm. He told me he was going to send me to a gay conversion camp. He gave me good life. Now that is where I draw the line. Travis. Yes, my queen. Brian just told me that you told him that you were going to send him to a gay conversion camp. What would I leave? I did. What makes you think you can send my child anywhere? The thing is, baby, I was just choking. Brian was cussing me out because I told him to do his homework. As a matter of fact, all three of them were cussing me out. They were cussing you out. But I handled it. I handled it. I took care of it. So you don't have to do anything else. Do not joke about my son's sexuality ever again. I got gotcha. you. Now, boys, I know that y'all are not used to a man being in a house, especially one that tells y'all what to do. No, which is why he got to go. Well, he is not going anywhere anytime soon. I actually enjoy Travis, and this is my house. And I want him in my house. 
I have catered to everybody my entire life and have got nothing in return. It is time for me to do what makes me happy and Travis makes me happy. Ma, this man is trying to force me to get a job. Savan, what is wrong with you having a job? You have a child. Do you expect me to pay child support for your son until he is 18? Yes, you're the grandmother. That's what you're supposed to do. Stupid. Stupid you are. You better go to those interviews that he's scheduled or else. Or else what, mama? Or else I'll have my man escort you out of my house. And mama don't want to, but I will. I'm tired of taking care of you, Savon. Brian, your issue was that he tried to get you to do your homework, something that you are supposed to do. I'm not addressing that. Do you have any other questions, comments, or concerns? No. Okay. Kyrie? Man, look, I ain't walking home from school. Then get on the damn bus or ride a bicycle. Did you have any other issues with Travis? Yes. That's too damn bad. Travis is here to stay. And y'all need to learn how to coexist with him. He give me good life. Get out of my house, Janice. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? Travis, I need you and the boys to click. And I've been thinking about ways to make that happen. So, a family trip to Six Flags might do the trick. We could try it. Okay. Boys! Good morning. Good morning from the three of us. Oh, so your brothers can't speak for themselves? No, I will be speaking for the three of us. Okay. Well, I'd like all of us to go on a family trip. Me and your mother were thinking about taking y'all to Six Flags. We thank you for the invitation, but we will have to politely decline. And why is that? Because, mother. We simply don't have the desire to go. Well, y'all don't have a damn choice. Y'all are going. Mom, did you forget that me and Kyrie are still in high school and can't afford to miss any school? I mean, it just started. This will be happening next weekend. <clears throat> <clears throat> next weekend, we will be at our father's house spending time with him and Karen. Hey, baby. It's okay. They'll come around eventually. You know what? Y'all are not going to your father's house next weekend. Y'all will be spending time with me and Travis. Mom, if you are forcing us to go, then we will. But as stated earlier, we do not have the desire to go. So we will be silent the entire trip. Get the door or get one of your other brothers to do it. <laughs> I'll get it. Why are y'all here? Trust me, I didn't want to come. Then why the fuck did you? Because Tara was driving. I had no choice. Well, you have one right now. Turn your ass around and leave the way you came in. Tamika, we haven't spoken to you in months. So fucking what? We have gone years without speaking. It didn't bother you then. You haven't even had the decency to call and check on mama. She hasn't been much of a decent mother, so why would I be a decent daughter? But you know what? <laughs> Humor me. How is your mother's health? The chemo appears to be working. And you know this because you've gone to each and every appointment with her and held her hand through the process, or that's just what she calls and tells us. That's you. what she calls and tells us, and I believe her. Okay. Tamika, stop. I am also here because Brian has been telling me that your little boyfriend, who is five years younger than you, has been really ugly to them. The boys have been disrespectful towards me and I made the mistake of arguing back with them. I'm not innocent, but I've already been addressed. 
Not that that was any of your business. My sister and her kids are my business. And my responsibility. So you and the other one can leave. My name is Tanya. Oh, I didn't ask what your name was. Tara, you and Tanya can get the hell out of my house now. You know what I will. I really only came to check on my nephews, you know, since you're out here choosing men over them. Better than me choosing men who choose my daughter every time. <sighs> That was low. I can go lower if you'd like. <laughs> and for the record, I will never choose no damn man over my kids on any day of the week. They're just not used to seeing me with a man. No, they're used to seeing me yelling at them for every single fuck up they make. So don't you ever try to charge me up about what goes on in my damn house. I wasn't trying to charge you up. You couldn't, even if you had a damn plug. Now get out. Okay. Because what did they think they was going to come up here and do? Right. We'll go to Six Flags. <laughs> Y'all had no choice in the matter. But I'm glad you came to your senses for your brothers. Now get the fuck out of my kitchen. All three of y'all. Hey, Mom, I'm about to go to the mall with a friend. Are you asking me or telling me? Mama, I'm 18 now. Technically, I don't have to ask you to go anywhere. Oh! Is this friend coming to pick you up? No, he's going to meet me there. Oh, so you must be walking. No. Uber? No. Taxi? I was going to see if I can use your other car. Hmm, so let's start the fuck over. You were telling me that you were going to the mall, not asking me. But now you want to see if you can use my car to go somewhere that you did not ask me to go, but told me you were going. You want a way to control me so bad. Control you? Sir, it's my car. I don't have to let you use it's it. It's just sitting in the garage collecting dust. And it will start to collect fucking spider webs if I want it to. You know why? Because it's my car. You know what, mama? We got off on the wrong foot. Yes, you got off on the wrong foot. Let's start over. Yes, you start over. Mom, may I use your vehicle to go to the mall, please? Hmm. Brian. I would love for you to use my car. However, it does not have any gas in it and you do not have any money to fill up the tank. So, no. That's fine. I'll find my way there without using anything that belongs to you. Ma, you're gonna take that. Okay, little boy. You wanna be Savon so bad, so I'm gonna treat you like him. It is 3.40 p.m. What time do you plan on returning to my house? Before it gets dark. I'm sorry, I don't quite know what that means. Could you please provide a specific time since you're so fucking grown? I sure can. The sun goes down at 7.30 p.m. I'll be back at 7 p.m. Mm, I will be locking my doors at the end of the business day. Okay, and what time is that? You're so fucking grown. You don't know what business hours are, Brian? No, Tamika, I don't. Humor me. God almighty. I will be locking my doors at 5 p.m. 5 that's fine. I'll just call Kyrie to let me in. And I will break every finger that touches my doorknob. Ma, you ain't even have to do all that. You already know I'm not about to let his ass in. As a matter of fact, when he pulls up, I'm going to come get you. Then I'll spend the night at my friend's house and return the following business day at 7 a.m. My house won't be open until 9 a.m. Then I'll go get some breakfast. And then I'll come. No, if you excuse me, I have to go find a ride to the mall. Don't get kicked out my house, Brian. I don't intend to, but you should really learn how to not make everything an argument. You can start by creating a healthy communication with your son. You should really learn how to respect your mother. Your type of respect is me asking you if I can breathe. I'm not doing that. Then you'll suffocate. Ugh, mama, you set the tone for this conversation. I simply just matched energy. If you live in my house for the free, then not a tone or energy better match mine. <sighs> okay, mama. I'll see you later.
Breathe, mama. Am I the problem? I just can't be the problem. I'm a damn good mother. I raised y'all right. I don't do anything wrong. Y'all are just so disrespectful for no reason, and I don't understand why. It's not you, mama. You ain't do nothing wrong. Brian is the problem. I think you should kick him out. Ma, long time no see. We wanted to come and introduce the baby to you. Ma, how long are you gonna hold a grudge? Tamika, girl, every time I see you, you having a meeting with one of his bitches. Can I help you? Yes, I didn't get a child support check from you this month. You don't get those anymore. We had an agreement six months ago. Mm -hmm. Six months ago, to be exact. And you have violated our agreement. What was the agreement? Nothing. Versace, you're dismissed. Uh, now, Savan, you know you can't dismiss me. So check this out, Kenya. The agreement was he's been laying pipe for the last six months, and I haven't had him on child support. Now, that was for six months, just in case you can't add or subtract. I can add and subtract just fine, thank you. And if him playing house with your desperate delusional ass keeps money in our pockets, so be it. Girl, I will beat the fuck out of you. Tamika, if you're gonna remain silent and let your chihuahua talk for you, me and Savon can leave. He will need to pay his outstanding balance before he leaves. Or I can expect him at my house tonight. Tamika! Why? Are y'all here? Oh, you can speak. Against my better judgment, Savon wants to introduce you to our daughter. Okay, and if I was interested, I would have made an effort to come introduce myself. Ma, are you serious? Savon, you cannot disrespect me over and over again and think that you can repair our relationship with a newborn baby. Right, what would it take for me to get my mama back? I will always be your mother and you my son. But right now, mama needs some space, okay? Congratulations on the baby. I'll come around eventually. I'm not satisfied with that. I don't give a fuck about you being satisfied, Kenya. Who are you to me? The mother of your grandchild. Girl, that don't mean shit to her. Trust me. You want me to accept this girl when you have snuck her into my home and my life? Snuck? See, that's your problem, Tamika. You keep treating Savon like he's a child when he's a 20-year-old grown-ass man, not a little boy that you can't seem to let go of. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, let's be real, Tamika. You want Savon all to yourself. You are an emotional incest mom who can't let him go. Oh, you dumb gullible bitch. He hid you from the world. He is still actively sleeping with his baby mama. He still lurks on his ex Jasmine's page, and he's a mama's boy. Mm. That is a lot to process. I start pulling shit out my ass too. Excuse me? Okay, because watch where the hell you're going. Savon, this was a bad idea and a waste of time. I think we should leave. Yeah, yeah, you should definitely leave. Where is the baby anyway? Not that it is any of your concern where my child is, but she is outside in the car. By herself? Of course not. She's in the car with our dog. And the AC is on. With, with a dog. Savon, where did you find this brainless ass bitch? Give me the keys. Um, what are you doing? She's fine. She's in the car with the dog. Don't you go anywhere near my child. Girl, sit your dumb ass down before I put you on your back. Give me the damn keys. And you wonder why I treat you like a child. You won't leave a newborn in the crowd with a damn dog. What the hell is wrong with y'all? He's my dad's service dog, who is more than capable of watching a child. I don't know, Savon. You really hit rock bottom after you left me. I'm sorry, after I left you. You got bitches out here leaving babies in the car with dogs and shit. <laughs> Throw ghetto out here. Now that I'm 18, I'm feeling more mature, 
more grown. And before this family reunion that I'm looking forward to this summer, I need y'all to work this bullshit out. Right. Mama, I'm grown. I can cuss. Grown is when you have paid off your vehicle and you own your home. And you don't own either. And neither do you. You lease your vehicle and rent your home. And you're a fucking criminal. No, I must have struck a nerve with that one. Mama, go to hell. Girl, I done gone so many times. My next trip should be free. Listen. I want to be that one child in all them black movies who wants the family to stick together. Like that kid in Soul Food. Grandma, you have got to apologize. And Mama, you have got to forgive. I don't have to do a damn thing. And Brian, shut up. You have no business trying to play peacemaker between me and my mama. Stay in a child's place. Tamika, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you're... Still holding on to that delusional ass childhood trauma and taking it out on me. Grandma. Brian, you said you had some drugs over here for me. You fucking dope thing. You over here trying to buy drugs from your grandson? Go suck a titty. Lift yours up with a bra first. Real woman got saggy titties. And where are yours, flat chest? Three kids later and not an ounce of titty is poking out. Five kids later and I'm sure your vagina looks inside out. I done got reconstructive surgery on this punta. This kitty is brand new. I still got the plastic on it. As for you, you are long overdue for a mommy makeover. Baby, I'm all natural at the age of 41. Yes, naturally a hot mess. Tammy, your own kids don't even like you. Neither do yours. Stop. I'm a way better mother than you. Congratulations on doing your fucking job. Do you want a fucking cookie? Why couldn't you do your job? Clearly, I wasn't qualified to be a mother. But y'all are here and alive. Now, stop complaining, bitch. I'm not attending no family reunion ever in life. Because <sighs> you think you're better than everybody else. That's why. I am better than you and your pathetic-ass family, Tammy. Now, leave me and mine alone. Um, this is not working. No, this is not working. This is a mistake. Yes, you made a mistake. Brian. Grandma sees that you are trying to repair the relationship between me and your mama, but your mama got to get out that high horse first, and she also has to admit to herself that she is just like me. Girl, I am nothing like you. You are a splitting image. Can y'all stop? Please. Mama, Grandma, this is hard to watch. Then don't fucking watch. Brian, go get that damn ecstasy you said you got for me. I lied. I love you forever. All right, Curry. I wanted you to stay after class because your grades are really bad. You have been doing horrible the entire school year, and now I'm faced with the options to. Either hold you back or allow you to go to the next grade. Why is my mama not here for this? Well, I figured you wouldn't want her in your business, would you? Listen, I want to help you. I can get you to the next grade. I just want to make sure you want to go by any means necessary. I do want to go. Great. Now, what are you willing to do for it? What do you want me to do for it? You're almost 17 years old. I mean, you're practically a grown man. I mean, look at that beard. Oh, you know you want it. Are you a virgin? Miss Hawkins, that seems highly inappropriate to be asking a minor. But you're a big boy, right? I'll tell you what. You come and show me what you be doing to these girls around here and I'll pass you to the next grade. I'm good. Have a blessed day. Wait, what? I will hold you back and make you repeat the same grade. And I'll tell the principal she got a little freak bitch as a teacher offering to pass me for some dick. Little boy, this ain't my first radio. I will tell them that you tried to force yourself on me. I will have you in jail by the end of the business day. Yeah, that's what I thought. So keep your fucking mouth shut and enjoy repeating the 11th grade. Get out of my classroom. Oh, girl, I'm about to get up out of here right now. Whew. You know we don't get paid overtime. All right, I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, bye. Oh, hello, ma'am. How can I help you? I'm Kari Jackson's mother. Great. All right. Well, I, I was going to call you um, sometime tomorrow. And um, 
discuss with you um, Kyrie's grades and me having to, you know, possibly hold him back a grade. It seems like you and him have already discussed that without me. I'm not sure what he told you, but here's what happened. You're going to pass my baby to the next grade. Once you do that, I am going to beat the fuck out of you. And once I'm done with that, you're going to resign and never work at another school day in your life. I'm not sure what your son told you, but he offered to have sex with me if I passed him to the next grade. And at this point, I'm reporting him to the principal. I can beat the fuck out of you first and then have you pass my baby. It doesn't matter to me. Either way, they both will happen. You know how many moms come in here and threaten me and I still end up looking like the victim? You put your hands on me, I'll have you behind bars along with your son. Let's see what you have in your purse. An ID. Sabrina Hawkins, 5314 Randolph Boulevard, apartment 707. You know what, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just keep this. Oh, is this your daughter? Please. I would hate to have to put her mama in jail for sexual assault. What? My baby said you grabbed him and forced yourself on him. No, I didn't. I never touched him. I told him that if we had sex, I would pass him to the next grade. No, I didn't. I never touched him. I told him that if we had sex, I would pass him to the next grade. Please. Kyrie is going to the next grade. I'll pass him right now. You are resigning? Yes. Ethan, what did you tell mom I did with that $500? Because she's walking around here like she has a problem. What me and my mother discussed is none of your concerns, Chantel. She's my mom too. <laughs> my mom doesn't even like you. What am I missing here? Ethan's bitch ass wants to be buddy buddy with mom. And I think he told her something about that $500 that dad gave me. Ethan, you out here snitching? Mom asked me what did I think that Chantel did with that $500. And I told her that I think she went to spend it on some more unnecessary bullshit. Even though that was probably not the truth. So why is mom treating me differently? Because she don't like your ass, Chantel. Well, daddy doesn't like you or Drew. Now what? No, he doesn't like Drew. Me and pops are cool. I don't give a fuck who that man likes. He's just mad because I fucked his childhood up by being born. And he said he didn't say anything to Mama Chantel, so this argument is stupid. Of course you're going to back him up because you're mom's favorite. Everybody knows that, Drew. And your dad's favorite. Who's dad's favorite? Chantel is. Mom, I don't know what your son told you, but what my daddy gives me and what I do with it is nobody's business. Chantel, I am your mother. You do not tell me what anybody's business is. All of y'all are my business. Well, then I just have daddy tell you the same thing I just told your you. Your father is on a business trip and he won't be back until next week. And good luck trying to reach him. He hasn't answered a single phone call of mine since he left. He told you he's on a business trip? <laughs> he just loves lying to you. I actually spoke to daddy this morning on his other phone. The phone that you're not supposed to know about. Oh, shit. <laughs> the devastation in your face. But that was none of your business, was it? Where is your father? Mom, I am not telling you where my daddy is because clearly he did not want you to know. If he wanted you, his wife, soon to be ex-wife, to know, then he would have told you. But as far as you're concerned, he's on a business trip because that's what he told you. Chantel, you know what? You are grounded from all outdoor activities until your father returns. You can't ground me. Oh, well, sure I can. I pay your cell phone bill, so I'll be suspending that. Um, All TV streaming services, you will be kicked off of. I might even go ahead and remove your TV from your room. Your car keys that you have to retrieve from me and your father, you won't be getting that. 
You're just mad because daddy's about to divorce you. Hmm. Yeah. And I can't wait till he gets back so I can tell him that you and your sons tried to gang up on me. And after you tell him that, tell him that you needed that $500 for an abortion. Shit! No, I didn't! What are you talking about, Ethan? What am I talking about? So you want me to elaborate, Chantel? Or would you prefer me to keep my mouth shut? You can start shutting up because you don't know what you're talking about. He's lying, Mom. He's lying. I'm still a virgin. I'm taking you to see a gynecologist. For what? To see if your hymen is still intact. Why would you violate me like that? Because, Chantel, I don't trust you. And that is sad that I can't even trust my own daughter. If you refuse to go, I know your father will make you go once he finds out that his princess might have had an abortion. And if you make me go and it turns out that I'm still a virgin, daddy is going to leave you for making his baby girl go through that. And he already hates you, so go ahead and make it worse for yourself. You know what? That is a risk I am willing to take if it means that your father will finally put you in your damn place. Now, you are grounded and I don't want to see you until your father comes back. Go to your room. Ugh! Karen? Who gave you our address? I know every white person in the world. My girlfriend Molly, who lives two streets away from you, watched you guys move in. How does she see us move in two streets away? Well, us whites, we are very superior. And we have... We have cone senses. Oh. We can sense when blacks move into the neighborhood. So when you guys pulled into the driveway, her cone senses were activated, along with every other white person in the neighborhood. My mama will be back any minute if you'd like to wait for her to come fuck you up. I just came to talk to her. Karen, now you know my mama does not talk shit out. I gave birth to a child one year ago. Oh, congratulations to you and my dad for bringing another child to this world. I promise you we don't give a fuck. And I got pregnant around the time Savon came to live with us. Karen, my brother is about to become a married man this weekend. You are not about to mess that up for him. I don't give a damn about who he's about to become. I need him to submit to a DNA test. He ain't submitting to shit. Leave and never come back. Your father would not let me back into the house until I get this taken care of. Now please, where is Savon? Girl, let me call you back. I knew I was itching to beat a bitch's ass today. Karen, what the fuck are you doing in my house and how did you find out where I live? Hmm. Well, you're aging quite well for a black woman. Bitch, I'll slap the Botox out of your face. And you are aging like spoiled milk. Ma, listen, you need to hear this. You broke down, busted ass Barbie. How did you find out where I live? <sighs> like I told Brian, my girlfriend Molly, she... Uh, no, don't say it again. You trying to die? I gave birth one year ago. You came here to tell me you had a baby. So you about to get fucked up because you wanted to share that with me. Mama, I think you should hear her out. I ain't listening to shit, Brian. And why did you let her in my house? You should have called the cops. I know all the cops. They would have allowed me entrance to the home. But you don't know my Glock 30. Nor the bullets that will rain on your head. Oh, God. You and your black people guns and your black threats. I need Savant to submit to a DNA test. What the fuck are you talking about? It's no secret that I was sleeping with him a year ago. Ah, you sick bitch. And the fact that Michael didn't divorce your ass infuriates me beyond reason. Look, Michael wants a DNA test for him and Savant. And I cannot return to my home until I get it. No, oh, that sounds like a personal problem. You listen here, you ghetto Shaniqua bitch. I will make it your personal problem if you do not tell me where Savant is. Karen, you trying to get stretched out on my floor? I ain't put a bitch on her back in a minute, but you giving me a reason to. Where is Savant? Bitch, who is Savant? Brian, go to my safe. The code is Savant's birthday. Once it's open, bring my Glock and three bullets. 
just in case I missed the first time. This isn't over. It can be if you wait a few more seconds. Oh my God, what did I do to deserve Savant? And he getting married this weekend. Like his shit just keeps popping up. Go pour me a glass of wine. Can I have some? No. You want to explain to me why my daughter says you threatened to take her to see a gynecologist? I had reason to believe that Chantel went and got an abortion. Which one of your sons told you that? Are they not your sons too, Terrence? Ava. You are not violating my daughter's privacy like that. She's my daughter too. Well, you're not acting like her mother. She feels like you're more of a mother to her brothers than you are to her. I can say the same thing about you, Terrence. When is the last time you gave Drew a hug? And why would you ask Chantel where I met when I told you where I was going to be for a week? Because your daughter made it seem like you were somewhere else. And I'd like to know how she was able to speak to you and I was not. What are you talking about? Chantel said you had a second phone. One that I was not supposed to know about. Oh, God, Ava. If I wanted to cheat on you, I would have done it already. And not behind your back, but in your face. So you're not cheating on me, but you're lying about your whereabouts. If you have nothing to hide, Terrence, why won't you tell me where you were really at? Because I'm a grown-ass man and I don't have to tell you anything. Now leave Chantel alone about that $500. If my child wouldn't have had an abortion as her mother, I need to know. Start acting like her mother and maybe she would confide. Start in acting like Drew's father and maybe he would confide in you. Chantel spent that money on shoes and clothes. Is that what she told you? Because it's bullshit. I'm taking my daughter to see a doctor and there's nothing you can do about it. You really enjoy pissing me off. I'm not trying to, Terrence, but we really- They don't. We are not in a good place, Ava. Why would you go and make it work? What does it matter? You don't love me. You won't even touch me. I'm gonna go and pack. Uh, what's her name, Terrence? What's her name? If you're not getting it from me, then you're definitely getting it from someone else. Ava, you work a lot. So do you, but I still find time to be a mother and a wife. Something you need to learn how to do. But if that's something you don't want to do anymore, then tell me, Terrence. Tell you what? That you want out of this marriage. So you can take everything I got? Is that what you're concerned about? Terrence, if you're not happy, then leave. You leave, Ava. You're not happy. So why are you still here? Because I love my husband. And I want this to get better. Well, I don't think it can get better. Hey, Daddy, can I do- Get out, Chantel! God, you have the habit of popping up at the wrong time. Just get out! I hope they made you feel better. Yelling at your daughter like that. You are the problem. I'm the problem. You are. Care to explain? Sure, one word. Kyrie. <laughs> it's big Kyrie, bitch. What about Kyrie? You have failed him as a mother. Kyrie is horrible. And you ask why we put our hands on him, it's because of his mouth. And because you don't hold him accountable for the shit he does. And he's damn near 17 years old. Savon, you love pointing the fucking finger. And you love pointing it the fuck back at everybody but yourself. Boy, you better lower your tongue before I jump across this counter and fry your ass like some fried chicken. I got the flyer, mama. Start frying his bitch ass. Ma, do you not see that you let Kyrie get away with everything? You too, Savon. How? Oh, well, let's see. I didn't touch you when you got a bitch pregnant at 17 years old. I didn't touch you when you decided to get several bitches pregnant shortly after, and I had to be captain abort. I didn't touch you when you laid a bitch down in my bed. I haven't touched you so I found out that you got yet another bitch pregnant, and I still have not touched you even after finding out that you got that same bitch my address. She was my fiancé, mama. Fiancé, Beyonce. I don't give a fin up. Like I said, you're the problem. I blame you for what I've done to these women. 
You enabled it. Boy, you sound dumb as hell. I didn't tell you to go pop you like the arsenal. You didn't tell me not to either. Brian, am I lying? Mama's the reason we act the way we act. Oh, I forgot she got your bitch ass on payroll. What did she get back to you? Your phone? Or is she letting you see the little college senior that you're not supposed to see? Oh, oh she didn't know. I thought I told you to get rid of that predator. You did. My mom turned 18 in four days. And he's only 24 years old. And too damn old to be dating you. Now get rid of him before I get rid of him and your phone. Okay. So then there's no need for me to tell you that Savon has some heat coming your way. Now, I may be a cold-ass bitch, but I ain't never been scared of no motherfucking heat. So what exactly is coming my way? Mm. Gosh, I can't remember. But I think I might be able to remember if I can still see my boyfriend. You didn't make that grown-ass man your boyfriend? I'm calling the cops on his ass. And tell them to stick around. Because you're going to need them for my special guest. Savon, if you gave my address to get another person without my consent, they are going to need a search party to find your body. Ha ha! They're going to need one for you too. Because I'm going to hide your body real good. Grandma, you're out of jail. You like having bitches pop up and fuck up my relationship, mama? Well, I can play that game too. What's wrong, Tamika? <laughs> you look like you just sent a ghost. Savon, not only can you get the hell out of my house, but you can take your grandmother with you. Ma, you started this by taking me away from everything I love. And now I'm giving your ass back because it's clearly too much trouble keeping your grown ass. Look, Tamika, Savon is the least of your worries. You need to be worried about me. Oh, I promise you, I'm not. All I had to do was call 911 and tell them that a convicted felon is refusing to leave my house. And there goes your freedom again. Former convicted felon. Get out of my house, Tammy. Ain't your ass on some type of house arrest? Ma, can all this just stop? Why won't you support me being with Kenya? Because you don't respect me. Oh, my God. Like, she's having your second grandchild. I don't care if she was having my fifth. Versace, what are you doing here? We cool, but that does not mean you can come to my house unannounced. Yeah, that's cool. But I heard that this old ran through ass bitch was here, so I just had to come pull up. You got this green alien fighting your battles now? Why are you still here? You know what? Don't worry about it. I got something for your ass. Since when did you become a calling the police ass bitch? You just can't be my daughter. You know what? You ain't even worth it. I just stopped by to say that I'm free and I know where you live. And those two things alone are enough to make you one miserable bitch. Come on, Savon. I just feel bad for Brian and Kyrie. Savon, shut the fuck up. You have left my house countless times and brought your ass right back. So do me a favor. Don't come back this time. Something want to get off your chest, little girl? Take no rules when it comes to a bitch. I don't even like you, sis. I'm going to put the Jews on tour. Come back to the hood with the projects on my wrist. I'm going to go toss big mama a brick. Night she was tough when her pay off the rip. If it ain't media, family, and close friends, I ain't got to get off my dick. I don't know why these niggas got girlfriends waiting on me to come fill in this spot. Niggas want to be a new Glock on my hip because they know real